what is up guys and of course welcome to well another team analysis of course from the VPL which was of course the scavenger and well today we're facing off against a real opponent Prijamion of course being the founder of the TBU and um, this battle has actually been rather hard to prep for for a plethora of reasons really but it all comes down to that Prijamion is a meta player which means that he can be very 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 calculating and having that in mind I kind of have to suspect that he's gonna bring his best six against me and uh, I really have just I have to play my best when it comes to my playstyle because I can't do any tricks against him it's not gonna work I don't have the stamina to pull that off either at least not against a team such as this and he actually has to bulk on his side which means that I have to match the bulk and I have to win the matchup he thinks he can win Having that said, as you guys can see on the screen here, he has Victini, Mega Venusaur, Stormy, Sylveon, Crook, Jal, Tornado's Eye, Jolteon, Flying, and Rhyperior, Moal, Flareon, and Primeape. And straight off the bat, I'm kind of feeling that he's gonna use pretty much Victini, Mega Venusaur, Stormy, Sylveon, Crocodile, and Jolteon, or Flygon. Could bring Rhyperior too, but that's about it. I don't see him bringing. Um, Tornadoes, Moal, Flare, and Primate because they are not underwhelming against me, but they're definitely a bit too on, too on the slow side for fending off my team. Consider the amount of offensives I'm having. Plus, Jolteon would make sense since I would speed Tornadoes naturally. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I do kind of see right here, like I said, to come in too if he likes to get rocks up uh, with and have him bulk in mind with to get with a Venusaur, which would, would be real annoying for me but that's pretty much the size of things and I'm gonna go over my team kinda quick here because they are simply made uh, they are built with aggression in mind and I don't intend this battle to be specifically long I don't think I can pull that off a long battle that is uh, so Tornadoes um, it's been of a uh, hasty nature, Assault Vesset, uh, Hurricane, Knockoff um, ooh, where is that paper um, it's, it's pretty much straightforward at least, I do believe how you turned it to and the way that filler move basically is able to hit. Uh, oh yeah, well, Sludge Wave to hit um, Sylveon, so that's about it. It's a very, very simple set, but uh, it's it has good aggression in mind basically. Uh, then we have Latios being of course... Um, or is that Latias? I do believe that's Latias, never mind. Anyway, uh, Cold Barberry with enough speed to outspeed um, Victini basically. Uh, it's gonna be my anti lead here. I'm gonna I'm gonna actually lead with Latios no matter what happens and no matter what matchup because I kinda expect him to if you use Crocodile to lead with that and I can see out whether or not that is Scarf. If it's not Scarf, then I win the matchup due to Cold Berry because I had Energy Ball basically and I do believe Dragon Pulse recover and I had one more move for I feel like just I can't from from the life of me I remember which one that is. Uh, but basically here it's an offensive set that is able to win any matchup start and also a great way of finding out whether or not if he's used a crocodile or victini if they are scarfed if he decides to lead with any of those but like I said crocodile seems to be the obvious lead if he decides to use him but the victini makes sense too in that matter so it, it's an easy way to scout out which one is what basically early so I can make assumptions uh, against his team much much more effectively uh, then we have Jelly Sent, Cold Barbarian Tier 2 uh, with some speed investment that you believe at 24 basically it's outspeed Sylveon if it goes for a more defensive set uh, I don't earn that much by being faster than it but it's but it's good that I am faster um, if it's a defensive set like I said because that means I can get some residual damage really early without really too much to worry about it and then we have of course Skull and Shadow Ball basically to get it with Will-O-Wisp and uh, nothing really to it, we have Culverberry to be able to take a knockoff from um, from what do you call it? <laughs> Crocodile uh, Defensive investment there is basically made that knockoff doesn't do it chaos after Culverberry has it has its effect which means Crocodile can't win that matchup uh, he's forced to switch out or basically waste all his knockoff PP um, that, that's pretty much the size of things with that guy. Um, there aren't really that many things. Um, Yellowson is going to be a fundamental switching for Starmie, which is a hassle for me. And um, max defense is good because that means I can deal with Flygon to some extent, I can deal with Rhyperior to some extent, and I basically can stay in against few matchups outside of Mega Venusaur, which risk, of course, getting burned by Skull. So that's. It's not a 
optimal switching for him, for him, but it's still something that I can keep in mind that I can use myself. Uh, next one being Scallopede, and uh, Jolly this time to be able to outspeed any possible Scarfer. Uh, so enough speed to outspeed 100, 100 base, of course, 15 inch Flygon. Uh, we have a Mega Horn, Aqua Tail, and um, was that Poison Jab, I believe. Uh, Aqua Tail was there because uh, I need to optimize myself against Rhyperior. Earthquake doesn't do it, kill it. But Mega Horn plus Aqua Tail does kill a um, defensive Rhyperior, which is impressive. Uh, and I basically did that over Earthquake because while Mobile kind of walls Scalopede, I still don't think he'll use Mobile. So I'm kind of optimizing around that basically. Uh, the same with Latios, actually, I didn't say that, but I don't have anything that hits super effectively against Mobile, but I don't think I need it. I was figuring out with Earthquake, but Energy Ball is just a safer call due to Rhyperior. Uh, then we have uh, actually Thoros, and Thoros have um, at least a Jolly set there too, but I have speed, I have speed of 16, obviously. Um, and we have, of course, Earthquake, yes, Earthquake, Rock Climb, Sun Headbutt. And I had one more filler move, I just I can't for the life of me. Oh, Pursuit uh, against Victini. If he gets a V Create, off, uh, I can actually Pursuit Trap it and probably kill it. So that's something I will find very, very useful. And it will, to some extent, work on Stormy too. But Stormer is very likely to stay in Dupes without speeding naturally. Uh, the last one I'm using is Palace Wine. I have some speed investments, I have speed based 50 miles, such as Small. I'm not expecting Moala, I, I'm being extremely firm with that, but if he decides to use it, then it's good that I have it. And plus, I don't really want Rhyperior to outspeed me. If he decides to creep Pillow Swine, then at least I have a chance and option to actually wave it that round. And we have Stealth Rocks and Icicle Crash, Ice Shot, and Earthquake. Hits his team really well, and if I like, basically ensure that we can take um, V Crate from Victini, which is actually kind of insane. But that's the bulk he has. The only mod that does threaten it out is Mega Venusaur, and Mega Venusaur doesn't deal well with either Latios or Tornadus. So I feel that I have offensive switchings all the time. So hopefully, no matter what matchup I'm gonna face, I can at least be consistent, you know, keep on going, hope that eventually he will mess up. But that is all I can do. If he plays a defensive match, which I feel is very likely to do, and I don't do the right predictions, then I'm gonna lose this game really, really, really hard. But I haven't at least given myself an honest shot here to at least fend off Freedomion. The thing is here, like I said, Freedomion is a meta player, which means that I can't, I just, I can't go balls to the wall and, you know, try to be trolly or do a tricky set because he will just optimize his team to be as offensively or defensively built for my team no matter really what I do. He has the capability of scouting me out, that means that I really just have to set the tone myself really early on and hope that that tone is something he can't do well against and hyper offensive team is what I do so all I'm going to do is playing as aggressive as I can so I'm gonna scout early uh, hope that I get some information from that. I'm gonna probably lose a plethora of mon extremely early for that very reason. I'm hoping that Palace Wine has still helped it throughout the match. I hope I don't lose Latios too early. Uh, Latias. <laughs> but that's pretty much it. Yellison is actually, um, he actually bears the team here. No matter what happens, I know that Yellison is probably the man that's going to be the one that matters. Because if I lose Yellison, then I can't actually defend myself too well against his offensive threat staff. Well, too long at least. And Jim. Um, He's the only real defensive response I have for a plethora of his mom. So it's gonna do some heavy duty stuff. But hopefully Jelly Scent is good enough to pull that off. And if it isn't, then I, I will lose. Uh, same thing with Scallipede. Like, if I set up a speed boost really early, it's highly unlikely I win this match anyway. Because I actually need Scallipede to be a late game sweeper. I can't use it early because he has a plethora of mana that can't deal with it outside. Even Jolteon can take an earthquake from Scallipede, even with Life Orb. So if he builds that thing right, then I'm basically going to lose Scallipede way too early too. Uh, so yeah, those mods I feel are the most important one are Jellicent, Tauros, due to, to being able to do it kill Venusaur, which is awesome, Pillow Swine because of rocks, and Tornadus. Tornadus eats his team with his moves that I have in mind. Oh yeah, 
I remember now. The last one that was Grass, not to Dry Period. My bad. But yeah, Tornado is probably the one that definitely will be game decisive, also, I should say, due to the movesets. Um, because it wins every matchup, but I just have done shorter and faster while that matchup going on. So, yeah, with all that said, guys, I want to thank you, of course, for watching. And uh, I'll upload a battle the same day as I upload this video. So, that should be. Well, you guys just have to wait, basically. So, thank you so much for watching, guys. And I see you very, very, very soon. Until then, take care. Bye.